hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is very easy for you if you just follow the way i completing this lab so first of all just log in with your google cloud console with your first username and password and once you log in over here just simply activate your cloud shell this will take couple of seconds so just be patient okay click on continue now in the search bar search for the big query open this thing in new tab okay now just come over here wait for a second now just simply come on the task number one and copy this data set id as we had to create first data set so just click on this done then click on this three dot and then click on this create data set and paste the name over here now click on this create data set so your data set had been created now just copy this command go back to your dashboard and run the command to your cloud shell like this okay now click on authorize now just wait for this command to get executed and sometime what happen if you just scroll down so these queries are not properly loaded so just cross verify that your query are looking like mine and if it's not just refresh the lab instruction page and you are done okay now just copy this query and now just wait for to this command get executed so it's done now now just go back to your big query then click on this editor and just paste the query over here let me just increase the text size for you now what he here he had to do just copy this username just copy that and make the changes properly okay like this and once you're done with these changes you can see you got a green tick now just simply click on this run now once this query is executed you will get a score without any issue so just wait for that so it's done simply click on check my progress and you will get a score on task number one without any issue now for the task number two what we have to do we have to again create one data set so just copy this name click on this three dot then click on this create data set and paste the name over here like this and click on create data set so second data set has been created if you just click on this arrow here you can see analytics now just copy this query go back to your now please do not make the changes over here okay just click on this plus icon and open the new editor if you try to make the changes over here you will not get a score on the task number two okay so now here what we have to do just copy your project id and in here just remove this and add your project id once you're done with this you can see green tick that means the query is properly configured then click on this run option this will take a couple of seconds and once you're done with that we have to create a view so for that just copy this name from the point number seven so just copy this and once this query is executed as you can see and we got output also then click on this save option from here choose the save view and now for the data set name choose the analytics view and for the tables choose or paste this name click on save so we have done with the first view now no need to run this query point nine query no need to run just simply come over on the create second view so just copy this command click on this plus icon again i am saying you had to open new editor okay now paste this query over here and here again just replace your project id so just copy this project id and make the changes properly like this and once you done with the changes you can see you got a green tick simply click on run and once this query is executed just scroll down copy this and click on this save option then click on this save view from here choose the analytics view and for the table name paste the thing and click on save and once you're done with this if you just simply click on the check my progress you will get the score without any issue okay now for the task number three what you have to do please pay attention over here first of all we have to give the permission for the analytics view so what you have to do just copy your second username okay just copy this okay and click on this analytics view data set click on that here you can see now click on this sharing option then click on this permission wait for a second then click on this add principle and paste your second username like this from here choose like this now for the role if you just scroll down copy this role big query data viewer just copy this click on this select role and paste over here 
and choose the wisely and click on save so we are done with the task number three also now for the time for task number four so now we have to click on this source data data set so click on this close click on this cross and now click on this source data data set now here we are in the source data now click on this sharing option then click on this authorize view okay for the source data we have to click on authorize view so just simply click on that now for here just copy this no user info and paste over here just wait for a second and choose this okay now click on this add authorize so you are done with this now just scroll down copy this second authorize view now remove this content and paste the second one click on here then click on add authorize now your currently authorized view must look like this like your project id then data set id and table id if it's so then click on close now you had done with the task number four also and if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day